making a very simple assembly uh, drawing or an exploded isometric drawing or an exploded drawing. There's a bunch of different ways to, to describe what we're going to do here. Um, first though, let me say that you need this to be an assembly. Um, this is made out of three parts, a case, a pulley, and an axle. And there have to be multiple parts in that for this to work. Uh, that have been assembled together and I have a, another video on how to do a very simple assembly um, on my YouTube channel as well. Uh, this particular one. Alright, so let's say that we want this to be um, a, 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 a drawing that we want to show somebody and how it goes together. We go to animation and that's a little counterintuitive but that's what you need and then you're just gonna highlight everything um, which I'm not doing a very good job of here. And then um, you're going to go to transform and generally people are probably going to do auto explode for a simple one. And then it's going to pop these apart. Now you have some some different ways to do this. You've got um, you have uh, put your trail lines in to show connectivity and you can also pull them together or push them apart depending on what you need. Um, the other thing, I'm going to X out of this, the other thing that you may run into that you need is a manual explode and in order to do that we would click this and then um, we would bring these further apart or whatever and I could see that you there could be reasons that you would want to do this. Um, I, I don't really can't come up with them, but generally, a lot of times the auto explode is is a problem. It uh, can be a, a little bit of a problem, and then you might need to manually tweak the auto explode or something. And you can do that through that manual thing. But we're going to go back. We're going to get out of here, and we're going to. Um, Make sure everything is highlighted and then go to transform. That's also a shortcut. Um, I think this is good. I'm going to keep that uh, visibility in there. I'm going to go to home and you can see that in that view it doesn't look disconnected, but um, you know you can turn it or if you need that isometric, it's possible that you need to bring this out more. Um, it's interesting that it changed the the view angle, but okay. Let's say that this is good. I don't, you know, for for our purposes, I check this, and it seems like it likes to jump right back to that, but that's okay. Um, and that's how you do that. Now you could turn this into a drawing by going to drawing from animation. And it usually takes us a little bit. Um, we're just going to call this good. It sometimes takes a little while for these drawings to generate. Um, making this one a long time. And then we can mess around the scale. Probably isn't what I want. Most likely I want something more like that, depending on the size of my paper and stuff. And, and then I'll place the base view. I can mess around with the um, different styles. These don't come in. Uh, they don't show until we're done. You can do hidden edges. I'm going to say OK there. And that's what that would give me. Often you don't want the hidden edges, so we could quickly uh, edit view, come back, and then you have to select the view and then come back here. That looks good. And close. And that gives you a nice exploded drawing. Um, thank you for watching.